Hey friends, it's Mermaid Bay Tarot, and I figured I would take you guys with me as I have been decluttering and organizing around here. Um, so, I know there's some hashtags of fear of missing out with the FOMO. There's some other, I think, hashtags going around on, you know, do you have a wish list? And I was thinking, as we're organizing and decluttering our house recently, again, because I'm just feeling the urge to do it, um, and moving everything around and feeling like everything should have a place, I'm feeling like, not so much fear of missing out, but, um, like, fear I missed out. Like, my wish list, I was going over my wish list recently, and seeing what decks I had on my wish list that I was still wanting. And so I was going through all that this past week and we were able to pick up a couple of pieces to try to organize over here and we're trying to organize over here and all this stuff that's going on around here. And so I finally got this bookcase all organized um, with my tarot and my tarot books and my oracle, and I've got some games down here, and I've got one shelf of homemade soaps, and um, which I need to move to the other section, but um, more like, I got into tarot many, many years ago, and I'm creeping up on the golden girl ages of getting to be near 50, and the past two years, I really got back into tarot, and I was like, wow, what happened? There's so much stuff out here in tarot land and tarot tube, and um, I really, really, in my journey, have been, like, wondering, you know, I was like, I missed out, like, the past 20-something years of all these amazing, cool things, and I just want to get caught back up and just dive deep into all of it. And here I am. So it's 2022. The world is in like total chaos. And I still feel like, you know, my life is a little bit still in chaos. I was hoping to have moved to this new home. We got married and declutter and get organized and live this fabulous life that we're living. And we're not there yet. And then I'm like, you know, so it's a process. Life's a journey, right? And I'm looking over my wish list and I'm looking over, especially after I've gotten my shelves reorganized here, I'm looking at all the decks that I have. Some I haven't done unboxings of. Um, some I haven't done flip throughs or walk throughs of. Some I haven't really gotten to work with. And some I've worked with a lot and really enjoy. And what decks am I, like, wanting to declutter? And what decks am I actually still wanting to bring into my collection? Because for me, my collection has become things that I really either enjoy seasonally or on a daily. Or, um, you know, I do do some tarot readings for people. So some of my decks are working decks for doing some readings. Some of them are just for fun. Some of them are for a little bit more deep dive or for more healing kind of work. And yeah, so I think I feel like I missed out on many, many years of what's been going on. And it's been a process of me trying to figure out what decks I would love to have, what decks I'm drawn to, feel like working with and all that stuff like that. And yeah, I don't know that it was so much the fear of missing out, but I feel like I did already miss out. And so here we are. Here's my collection. And I'm looking at, um, here's my books up here. I've got some different books up here and my candles and kind of like my, my seasonal. Um, I've got the Seasons of the Witch. I've got my Halloween Tarot. Um... I thought I'd have some time to work with the Thoth Tarot this year. I also thought this year would be like a no-buy year. I kind of failed that. I'm going to go over that maybe in a little bit. But I definitely did. I did pretty good, I think. I didn't buy too many. Um, here's another candle I have. Um, 
some decks arrived later because I had them on pre-order, um, like my Benabel, um, Spirit Keepers one, I've got the Revelation book, and the deck I think is on the other shelf down below here, and um, there's my other candle. And I spent a lot of time this year working with um, just some of my basic decks. Like, I actually spent a lot of time working with my favorite decks. Dreaming White Tarot is one of my favorite decks. I spent a lot of time working with this AE Weight Tarot. I love this deck as well. And as much as it was hard for me to feel like I was connecting to finding the right tarot decks, I have found the right tarot decks for myself. I found this tarot vintage I really love. Um, I'm glad it came out um, and was printed again. I love working with that deck. I have some other decks here. Some. Um, this was one of my first decks again back here. This was the Radiant Wise Tarot. Um, and with all the beautiful decks I have on my shelf, honestly, I reach for like the classic ones first. And then when I have a little bit more free time, I can reach for the Lightseer Tarot, which I do enjoy. My little Lucky Kitties. I love the Tarot Golden Wheel. There's several ones that I really love. There's a few vintage ones I was able to pick up. Um, <clears throat> this is a vintage one. The Arcus Arcanum Tarot. <clears throat> it's, um, I think it's 1970-something. It's a 1970s deck. I do love that one. This was another vintage deck I picked up here. Tarot of Love. I love that one as well really beautiful and has beautiful messages and then it had a <clears throat> separate book chair of love this was a new deck I picked up this year the tarot de la nuit I really love this one I've been enjoying this one a lot I've really been drawn to working with a darker deck even though it's like summer we're hot, hot, hot here in Texas, and the heat is just feeling like death, and everything is brown and drying up, and we're on water restrictions, and I'm just drawn to some darker decks right now. Um, Crystal Visions. This is actually a new one I picked up. I actually really love this deck. I haven't gotten to work with it, but I think the artwork is amazing. Um... Got some new decks in that I need to do some unboxings of. They gifted me this new um, angel deck oracle I'm going to do a video on. There's my vintage bell. I've got the um, Intuit oracle, the original, the Twin Flame, and the Zodiac. They're having a special, so I picked up um, the set of those. We've got an old vintage deck of just playing cards someone gifted me. Here's my mini decks. These are some more. This was a new deck I just picked up recently too. The Intuitive Night Goddess. Love the artwork on that one. Um, oh. I was really upset about some things recently, and I saw this on um, Amazon, and this was just, it just cracked me up. I just love this deck. It's a great little deck. Brighten my mood. I'm wondering if I should declutter these two decks. I haven't um, been able to really connect with my Green Witch Tarot deck since I've gotten it, and I gave it some time, and then I tried working with it again this past month, and I just get like the... I don't know. The readings are just so strange for me for this deck. It's I don't even know how to put it into words, but they just doesn't feel like it connects with me. Um, if anyone has any words of advice on connecting with this deck, I'd love to. I am, I am a green eclectic witch, and I just, uh, for whatever reason, I'm not connecting to this deck. I don't know if I should give it more time. I did love this deck, but I feel like 
I don't reach for it as often. Um, so I think I'm going to be decluttering that one. This one's really cheered me up a lot. With um, the old time vintage vibes and the characters just make me smile. This is a recent one I just was able to pick up. I haven't even unboxed it or opened it yet. Love the artwork on that one. And then here's mostly my Oracle decks over here. Got the Moonology, some mermaids. This one I love, the Mystic um, Sisters. Um, was there one that I picked up recently? I don't. This might might have been this year. I love this one. This is this might be a new one this year. This is a new one I did a video on. Um, Rebecca Campbell's of the Rose Oracle. That one's been very healing. This one always makes me smile. This was a new one to pick up for some love readings. I thought this was great. And just for like some strong woman, warrior spirit, you know, I don't know, strong women vibes. This just has, this is an amazing deck. This will, this will tell you straight exactly what you need to be working on, what you need to hear. I love this deck. Um, this is a great one too. When I'm feeling really frustrated with things or upset about something, um, I reach for my gratitude oracle deck and it just helps ground me. Lots of nice fun decks. I really do enjoy my collection and I like being able to see it and reach for it and I love having it here. I guess the other thing is I love my druid cap, uh, craft a little bit more than the green witch one. And so if I had to choose I would probably reach for this one over this one. So. I think that's why I'm thinking of decluttering that one. But yeah, I've just been like taking an inventory and going over my wish list. I think there was one more box. And I'm looking for it. Here it is. Just I think I just did a video on this one. This I found on eBay. It was brand new, sealed, and a really good price. And so this was on my wish list, and it was really calling to me. I watched some more walkthroughs and videos of it, and I, I love how it pairs really well with, like, this one. And I just love the whole Robin Hood vibe. I love Robin Hood and Maid Marian and all that stuff. And um, so I really have, I love, I love this deck. That was a great, that was a new deck I got this year. So, yeah, I'm, like, looking through my notes and wondering, you know, people, you know, what what decks did I buy? What decks oh, in here? 2022. I ended up buying, um, my Alice in Wonderland came really late. Um, I think Myst Mystical Medallies came in a little later, but I bought one, I bought a few recently. And I've got one on Kickstarter I ordered, the 8-bit fantasy one. So, yeah, and then I did, got, I did get a... This was on my wish list, and I, I wanted another book to read. <laughs> like, I have all these books to choose from, and several more on other shelves. And um, this one was something I had wanted to just pick up and, and just for some light reading on the go with my husband take with me to have something to read. I didn't get too far with it, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. But I think it was, I think like I, I've been looking at my wish list and I just, there's a lot of things on my wish list that I really, really wanted for a really long time. And most of them I don't want, especially when I'm looking at my collection and I don't kind of want duplicates of things. I feel like a lot of things serve certain purposes. 
or are great for just regular readings or um, this was one that I, this is out of print but I do love this I had picked that one up um, there's a, like a few decks on my wish list like the true black tarot it's kind of pricey um, there's a couple of decks I think that are kind of pricey like the Allison the Dame Darcy Alice in Wonderland and the Dame Darcy mermaid one are like on my wish list I don't think there's a whole lot left on my wish list as far as decks I want to work with. And there's so many great choices out there. I love looking at all the unboxings and I love watching all the walkthroughs. And it really helps me make a decision on what I want to bring into my collection and what I don't want to bring into my collection and what I'd like to work with. So I feel like I have a pretty rounded collection of the things that I was looking for. Um, Things for guidance, things for healing, things for just different ones for fun. Um, I really do like the Colette um, Baron Reed ones, the map, um, Wisdom, Oracle. There's um, a couple other ones that are different ones. The Shaman Dreams, the Sacred Forest, and uh, Sacred Destiny. I do enjoy those, and I've got the Energy one. So, but I'm really feeling drawn to, like darker decks like this is a darker deck and I think I should do a video just on that this is another darker deck this one's darker in the sense that it's actually black I don't know that the messages are on the darker side I haven't worked with it yet but I just feel like it would go really well um, I do like this one recently that I've been working with, and I like the Darkwood Tarot as well. So I just I think in my mind I've been in a place where I just need to draw out whatever it is that's making me feel like I just need to focus on some things, you know? like. Not living in the past, not worrying about the future, but just dealing with the present. And what helps me get to the present is dealing with like the darker stuff because I'm a Scorpio rising and a Scorpio moon. And I have just fallen in love with this um, Tarot de la Noy. And um, this is one I've been really reaching for a lot lately. And I think this would be beautiful because this has some beautiful images in it. Um, oops. Trying to open it with one hand. It has some beautiful images that have some, like, botanicals. So it has, like, a lighter side to it as well. Um, and the wording is a little bit different for some of them. But I, I think I really want to work with some darker decks right now. And... I'd love to know if you guys still have things on your wish list. Um, are you in a new deck by year? What does that mean for you? Do you have the time to work with the ones that you wanted to work with? Because I have not had the time that I have thought I would have this year to work with them. Um, I thought I'd be doing a deep dive with this one. And I thought I'd be doing a deep dive with my Thoth deck. And, um, I've got some astrology books I wanted to read. And I didn't finish my numerology book that I was reading. Like, I got really distracted this year by everything that's going on, everything we need to take care of, everything I think I need to take care of. And I'm just trying to hone it into focusing on what grounds me, what makes me happy, each day and how can I focus on what I need to do to be the best me each day and I feel like my wish list is like extremely small right now I have most of the decks that I would ever probably want to work with and I'm just wondering if it, anyone else is feeling that way too financially for financial reasons or non-financial reasons even if you had all the money to buy all the decks that you want and were on your wish list would you buy them or are they just still sitting there because you love to reach for like your classics and they speak to you in a way that 
you know, our best friend, are the guidance and answers that you're looking for to help direct you when you might feel a little bit like out of sorts or need to ground yourself or, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, I just thought I'd pop on here and do a little video about all that. I feel really good about organizing this bookcase and the other ones that I'm getting organized. And I think, you know, if I just do a little bit each day and focus on all the little tasks without worrying about them, it ends up being a really good day for me. So not getting caught up in the worries of the world or the worries of all the things that I need to do or didn't do, but staying in that present moment is so important for me during 2022. And I'd love to hear if that's something you're feeling too. Put it in the comments below, let me know. And yeah, I'll probably do another video here soon on some more unboxings and walkthroughs and um, my thoughts on the angel deck that I was gifted. I don't have any other angel decks. I'm super picky about them, so I haven't really picked one out. So I'm really anxious to go through that one and the other ones that I got from them. Um, they were super kind and helpful and answered me right away on Etsy. And um, I've got my oak ash and thorn and my smoke ash and embers. Is that smoke ash? Smoke ash? Is it smoke? I'm saying, might be saying it wrong because I'm tired. But they came really, really late. I've probably waited over six months for mine to come in the mail um, from the UK. I'm here in the States, um, in Texas, and it got um, held up at customs, and so they had to send me a whole nother order, um, and it's not their fault. I don't know what happened at customs, but I, when I got my decks, I got a couple of decks really late, like my Alice in Wonderland, and I was so excited for them, and I was not in the place that I thought I'd be when I received them, and so... You know, I, I had a hard time, like, opening them and going through them. Because I didn't, like, the excitement was gone because of whatever was happening in my world that time when this arrived. And I do love this deck. Um, but when I got here, I was so depressed about what was going on. And I just couldn't reach for any of my decks. So, I'm happy to be back reaching for my decks every day. And I'm happy to have... Um, my space a little bit more organized here. Uh, Hubby and I picked up a few thrifted bookcases and things like that to get things um, better organized and I feel really good about that in my space and um, just getting through my daily tasks each day and finding joy with all the things that we do. So anyway, uh, let me know how you guys are doing. I wish you nothing but the best and um, love to hear from you. Thanks for hanging out with me here at Mermaid Bay Tarot, and we'll see you in the next one.